Hello campers! If you guys are watching this, that means you are on week five of the Campus Rec Center virtual summer camp. This week's theme is wild and wonderful. So we're going to cover things with West Virginia, nature is an outdoor, as well as it's also kind of going to be kindness week for us. So it's going to be an uplifting and positive week. So for my craft, Today, I'm going to be talking about how to do leaf printing. So in a second, I'm gonna show you guys what you need for leaf printing. So here's all the supplies that you need for today's craft, which is leaf printing. So first, I laid down some paper towels. You can lay down anything, such as garbage bags, old newspaper, paper towels. This is just so that your surface you're working on doesn't get dirty. You're also gonna need some paper. The thicker the paper, the better it'll be for this activity, but I'm just using printer paper. You're gonna need some watercolors, a paintbrush, and I have a cup of water, and then anything that you can find outside that is in leaf form or flowers. So I went outside and picked some leaves around my house. I have some clovers here, some other leaves, and I also am gonna try this out with a rose petal. So any leaf you can find, the softer and flatter, the better you don't want any crunchy leaves. So step one of leaf printing, what you're gonna do, it's gonna sound silly, but you guys are going to stick your paintbrush in your water and you're going to paint your paper with water. You wanna make it really wet. So I'm gonna finish that. Make sure your whole paper is covered in water and I'll be right back with the rest of the instructions. All right, campers, so once your paper is fully wet, then you're actually gonna put paint on your paintbrush and you're going to put paint all over your paper. Cover it up with as many colors as you can. For this activity, I'm going to be using blue and gold for West Virginia since it's wild and wonderful. So to make your watercolors work, you need to dip your paintbrush in the water and then pick a color. So I'm gonna pick yellow here. You want it to be very liquidy so you can go back and dip your paintbrush again. Just make sure you add water to it. And then you can start painting, just like that. So I'm gonna go and fill the rest of my paper up with color and I'll see you guys back here soon. All right, so this is what my finished painting looks like. Very, very cool. So next what you're going to do is you're going to take your leaves and you're going to lay them down and press them against your paper. It is okay if your leaves go off the edge of the paper or if they touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay my leaves down so you're just gonna lay them down just like that, give them a little press, fill up your whole paper with leaves, and then we will see what to do next. So this is what my paper looks like right now. So remember campers, just give your leaves a little press, make sure they're really flat. You don't want them sticking up. So that's what I did here. And if you guys want, fill up the whole paper with leaves, but I think I'm gonna go for this look, I kinda like it. Next, what you're going to do Stick your paintbrush back into your water. Fill it up with lots of colors. So I'm gonna fill it up with blue here. And instead of painting on the leaves, what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze that pigment on to your leaves. I think I need a little bit more water here though, hang on. So you can even flick them, but you want a bunch of color on your leaves. You want your whole paper to be really wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and repaint my whole paper. A little helpful tip to get your leaves to be really flat. You can see mine are mostly flat. What I did is I stuck my whole hand in my cup of water, got it soaking wet and just poured it over those leaves and then smoothed them out. That'll really help to get your leaves flat. And then I'm gonna go back over and paint them again. And just like that, I finished adding more color and flattening down my leaves. This is from this point of view, they're pretty much flat. Remember, if you're having trouble flattening them, take your whole hand, stuff it in some water, and just really press down on that leaf that's not sticking down. All right, well, we have to let these set for overnight. You don't wanna pull up your leaves until the paper is completely dry. So I'm going to leave it here until tomorrow morning, and then we will see the leaf printing come alive. 
So it is the next day. I have let my leaf printing paper dry and I can see some leaf prints so far. So you can tell it's dry whenever your leaves kind of start um, wrinkling like that and they're starting to come off the page. So now it's time to take off the leaves and see what we have. Oh, I like those. I like the clovers. That's pretty cool. So for the beginner level of this craft, what we're gonna do is almost the opposite of what we did for the craft and overall. So, grab a new sheet of paper, and I still have my leaves from yesterday. So, what we're going to do is instead of painting the background, then adding water, painting the leaves, adding more water and paint, and waiting like overnight for this to dry, why not just paint the leaves themselves? So, paint the leaves, and then stick them on your paper, and pull them up as a stamp, and then your craft is done. So, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to get to that, and then I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like in the end. Woo! And just like that, we got our leaf printing, and it is already dry. That took me maybe three minutes. I really like how this way turns out, where you paint the leaves instead of laying them down and painting over them. So, that's the beginner level. Now, moving on to the other levels. For the advanced and intermediate levels, what I did was I took my whole piece of paper that we had before, and I just cut it right in half. I'm gonna use one half for the advanced level and one half for the intermediate. So for the intermediate, I challenge you guys to create a card. It's gonna be like a kindness card and give it to someone who would really appreciate having it. I know I appreciate when I get like a text or just a call or an email from someone saying, you know, good things and positive words. So I challenge you guys to make a kindness card and give it to someone special, maybe a parent, a guardian, a neighbor, a friend, even the mailman. You know, someone who has done a good job and just needs to be appreciated. So I'm going to write a card and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to use just like a Sharpie. You can use a marker. You can use anything to decorate your card with. But I'll show you my card once I finish it. So I finished my intermediate level. Here's my card. I wrote it to my dad because he's my superhero. And just in the card, I wrote some like positive things about him. Some things that I really love about him and that he's done for me. And just all in all, I hope this card will make him smile at the end of the day. So I'm gonna give that to him. So I challenge you guys to give your card to that special someone. All right, so I just finished up with my intermediate level craft. Here's my card. You can see I wrote it to my dad. And on the inside, I just wrote some, you know, positive, uplifting things, the things I love about him. So I really hope this card will make him smile at the end of the day. That's all we're asking for. So I challenge you guys to go give your card to that someone special just to make them smile. You know, just a little unexpected speck of kindness for the week. So for the advanced level part of this craft, we're gonna take our other sheet of paper with the leaf prints on them. I still love how they look. And we are going to be writing kind words, positive words, uplifting words on this sheet of paper all over front and back. We're gonna put this somewhere, or at least I'm gonna put this somewhere in my house where everyone can see it. All right, this has been an amazing craft for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. We got our beginner level, our intermediate level, and our advanced level. We got all the levels for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft, and I will see you guys next week for week six.